Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 53. And this is war number five. And I need to mention that if you're looking for war number four, it doesn't exist. I did not record it because of some issues with the iPhone 13. Uh, they decided to basically roll back the points on uh, war four. So it didn't count. However, it still affects us we lost that war, but the points will be rolled back. Now, we were not on the edge of tier, so we're still um, in tier two, as you can see. Had we been on the edge, that loss would have dropped us down to tier three, and that would have affected our points for the next war. But... They're going to roll back the points and they're going to give a compensation package because of that. Uh, so that should help the uh, folks that were affected out. I don't know what the compensation package is going to be. All right. So we're going up against an alliance called Avengers. <laughs> okay. Who did y'all ban? Ultron. Why y'all messing with my boy? Spider-Man 2099 and Count Nefadia. All right. We got Silk and uh, Shiri globally banned and Herc and Hulkling are whitelisted. Let's see what we got going on. Oh. Let's see. Okay. Well. Interesting. Normally, uh, Emma, I would say Corvus, but that's fine. Um, there's a couple of people that can take her. Uh, Lady Deathstrike comes to mind. Then we've got Elsa. Now, when I see Elsa on defense, I think they're running the ouchy masteries. So it needs to be... Uh, a mutant going up against her just in case. Um, but we'll see. Then we've got Prowler. Uh, I don't remember, but I don't think he gets a armor up. I don't think he gets an armor up. Um, so Corvus could do it. Then we've got um, Colossus, who definitely gets armor ups, but... Gladiator shuts him down, and I just recently took my Gladiator Sig 200, uh, so that should help me out. All right, let's take a look at the war planning uh, spreadsheet here. So for Emma, he has Lady Deathstrike. Beautiful. We're thinking the same way. Um, <clears throat> for Elsa, any mutant. We're thinking the same way. Now, for Section uh, 2... For Prowler, he has Gladiator. Okay, that can work. And for Colossus, he has Gladiator. See, we're on the same page. All right, now let's see. So Lady Deathstrike, a Mutant, and Gladiator. And I am not assigned a Mini, so we're good. So I can bring in any Mutant. Uh, to handle that uh, Lady Death Strike. So this should be interesting. All right. I don't know who I'm going to bring in yet. I'm going to look and see. Maybe I'll bring in Domino since she's my rank three. Um, mutant. So, yeah, I might bring Domino in if I have her, if I don't have her on defense somewhere. 
All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, we're going in with Gladiator, Domino, and Lady Deathstrike. And you guys are gonna see why they keep banning Lady Deathstrike. Uh, Domino, we could have chosen any mutant. So I just went ahead and, and chose Domino. She's rank three and she is a beast. Uh, but anyway, for this uh, first fight, uh, I believe I used uh, Lady Deathstrike. Lady Deathstrike, especially against mutants, is crazy good, okay? Not only that, but for this particular meta, she's also um, an uh, attacker tactic. Uh, attacker? That's a very strange thing to be able to say. Attacker tactic? She benefits from the attacker tactic, okay? She's sequitur. So the more um, debuffs she puts on, the uh, quicker she ramps up. And look at that. She's already ramped up. You see that um, heal block? Okay, watch, 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 watch. See? Notice the different heal blocks? She has her own heal block. But that, I guess, uh, deeper red bordered one is from the attacker tactic. Okay? And so when she gets, I think it's... Um, each each debuff counts as one, so I think it's every. Is it every ten or every uh, five? I'm not sure, but this is why she is banned. Look at that, she just tore her up. You remember when Emma Frost first came into the contest, and she had all these immunities, and people were like, "Oh my goodness, what's going on?" Well, she's not immune to the ruptures, so. Now, if they had put her there and also banned Lady Deathstrike, that would have been a little bit more dicey. All right. Now, this fight here, I looked and he wasn't running Liquid Courage Double Edge. So I'm like, why put her down on defense then? I don't get it. You know, as soon as I saw her, I immediately thought, okay, she's got to be, you know, running the ouchie. And that happened because I slightly hesitated um, before I hit my special. And so she had enough time to block. But you can see here, she's just tearing her up. It was nothing, okay? So any mutant would have worked there. If you don't know... Uh, anytime um, Elsa Bloodstone is bleeding, she will put a degen on you. The only people that are immune are mutants. Now, I don't know whether the degen um, resistance from like Hulk and Spider Ham um, would help against her. I don't know. Um, but mutants don't have to worry about that, and they could bleed her without having to worry about it. Okay, now on to section two. And we need to fight this Prowler. And my Gladiator is Sig 200. So there's a five second difference. I get my personal vigilance for 15 seconds. Then the vigilance that I get for firing a special two is 20 seconds. Now, here's the thing. That is really only when I have to deal with those armor ups, honestly. The vigilance also means I won't miss, so that's good, especially for Prowler. But mainly it's for those armor ups, okay? So I did the uh, advanced uh, power. I love that one, all right? And I'm hitting into the block to build up my confidence. And then I get hit and lose all that confidence. I'm sitting there like, really? See the miss failing? Now, he's immune, as you can see, to uh, the incinerate, but that's not why I fire that off. I fire that off so that I can punish his specials, like that. Otherwise, he's really annoying, okay? And so I built up back to a special uh, two. All right, I still have the, um, well, just, I was looking at it, and I just missed it. 
It just ran out. I should have just gone ahead and intercepted with a special two. And I'm like, okay, I need to quit playing around because I'm about to lose this fight um, if I don't act right. So we went ahead and fired that special three, finished the fight. However, that means that now I got to heal up, which costs loyalty. And I really didn't need to do that. I could have played better and not had to use the loyalty, but it is what it is. Now, for this fight, the armor ups are, again, the main thing. With Prowler, it was his miss mechanic. But with Colossus, it's the armor ups. Because on this node, anytime you have an armor up, you're going to put a, a shock on the defender so if you're not going in with a, a shock immune champion you'd better have somebody that can deal with those armor ups and gladiator can he basically prevents the armor ups it's like a minus 100 percent ability accuracy which means if he's going up against somebody that has um something in their kit that says their ability accuracy cannot be reduced he's not going to work OK, um, and I think I did run into that. Um, I think it was with uh, Omega Sentinel. Somebody uh, leave a comment and let me know uh, if that was correct. Um, but I don't think he works against Omega Sentinel. All right. So you can see here armor failed. So he's got no armor ups. OK. And so I don't have to worry about the shock. OK, and here we go. Building that up because I know I have the time. Now he wants to act like that. Now, what he did right there, and I'm hoping that he doesn't get his armor up. Look at that. Armor up failed. Got it just in time. So what the AI did there was wait it out, uh, wait out my vigilance, and then fired a special so I had no time to do anything to him until it ran out. Okay? So, like, right here, that's why I did that. I was like, I'm not waiting for him to play around, okay? And for some reason, I keep getting hit uh, going back like that. I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, I did not get assigned a mini for this particular war. So that's the final fight of the war for me. Uh, and we will be back in a few moments. And you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So as I mentioned, I think in the beginning of this video, uh, war number, I think it's four, did not count. So I didn't even bother uh, recording it. Let me uh, make sure. See. Yeah. I don't have any recording for uh, war number four. Uh, and what they'll do is they'll take the points away. But this is good. We won at tier two. And although, let me see. Let's go here to the uh, season. All right, we're at platinum two, but we lost a lot. Okay. Um, rank 46. And I think there's only 50 spots in Platinum 2. All right. So, yeah. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight he swift, his tactics be tight Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown